Hello everyone, welcome to the pedagogy channel. In this video, we are going to cover the last chapter of NCRT class 7, Geography, Life in the Deserts. In this video, we are going to cover about two extreme desert areas. One is hot, that is Sahara in Africa, and the other one is a cold desert, that's Ladakh region of India. Also, we are going to see about the climatic condition, flora and fauna, people and their livelihoods of this desert. Before proceeding, please do like and subscribe our channel for regular updates. So yeah, let's get started. In chapter 5, we have seen about the importance of water, its crucial role and its cycle in vast. Also in earth, there are places where there are extreme water scarcity. Here vegetation is sparse where cattle couldn't have grasses to graze. People have no water to drink. It's a dry area and it has extreme low and high temperatures. We call them deserts. It is a map of Africa and it is one of the seven continents of Earth. Sahara Desert lies on the northern part of Africa and it is the largest desert in the world. It comprises an area of about 8.54 million square kilometer can you able to recollect the size of India? It is 3.2 million square kilometer. The desert is almost twice of India. This desert zone, it includes 11 countries. They are Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Tunisia and Western Sahara. When we think of Sahara Desert, we often think about vast stretches of sand. Beyond that, it is filled with gravel plains. It is coarser than sand. The desert has elevated plateaus. We know plateau is an elevated flatland. Here, it is of bare rocky surface and some are 2500 meters high. A very surprising fact about Sahara is, it was once a very lush plain. Due to change in climate, it has turned down into today's desert. Cave paintings of Sahara indicates the presence of water. There was a river with crocodiles and fishes. Scientists found fish skeletons from this region. Also from old paintings we can know they were elephants, giraffes, lions, ostriches, sheep, cattle and goats in Sahara thousands of years ago. Now Sahara is a very hot and dry region, has very little rainfall. During day, the sky is almost cloudless and clear. Here, the moisture evaporates quickly than its accumulation. The day is unbearably hot and it has a temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius. The hotness heats up the sand, the bare rocks. Again, in turn, they radiate around and make everything else hot. Al Azizia is a small town in Libya. Here the temperature was recorded around 57.7 degrees Celsius in 1922, which was the highest recorded temperature till date. And during night, the temperature is closer to 0 degrees Celsius, that is freezing cold. In Sahara, we can see animals like camel, hyena, jackal, fox, scorpion, variety of snakes and lizards. Despite of its harsh climate, Sahara Desert has been inhabited by various people. Among them are Bedouins and Tuaregs, they are nomadic tribes. There are livestock like goats, sheep, camels and horses. They provide them milk, they give them hides. Hide is an animal skin, with this they make leather for belts and slippers. They provide them hair, which is used to make mats, carpets, clothes and blankets. And people of Sahara wear heavy robes. It protects them from dust storms and hot winds. In some places, we can see oases in Sahara. Surrounding oases, green islands can be seen. Oasis is nothing but a fertile spot in desert where water is formed. When wind blows, depressions are formed in sand. 
in certain depressions the underground water may reach the surface such water spots are called oases since water is available people grow date palms also acacia and cactus are seen the oases in sahara and nile valley of egypt supports a settled population people here they grow crops like rice wheat barley beans etc egyptian cotton which is famous worldwide is grown in egypt the lafet oasis is an abnormally large oasis it is situated in morocco its area is about 13000 square kilometer its oil exploration which was made in sahara's algeria libya and egypt regions has a huge demand across the globe also other mineral deposits like salt iron phosphorus manganese and uranium are found in sahara commercial development of sahara changed the ancient camel paths into criss cross super highways and buildings the trucks are replacing the camels in salt trade the trimal tuaregs are turning into local guides for the tourist and more and more tribal herdsmen are moving into city life by finding jobs in oil and gas corporations next we are going to see about ladakh ladakh is a cold desert and it lies in the greater himalayas on the eastern side of jammu and kashmir it is enclosed by karakoram range in north and zanskar range in south the ladakh region has several rivers one among them is river indus it originates in tibetan plateau the rivers also have many deep valleys and gorges valley is nothing but a low lying area between hill or mountain gorges are said as a narrow valley it is of steep rocky walls do you know how ladakh got its name it is made up of two words la and dark la means mountain pass and dark means country also it is said as kapachan which means snow land there are several glaciers in ladakh one among them is gangri glacier a glacier is basically a large ice or a snow which originates on land and it slowly moves down under the influence of its own weight and gravity dras is one of the inhabited place on earth and it is in ladakh the altitude of ladakh vary from 3000 meter in kargil and it extends up to 8000 meter in karakoram range due to high altitude the climate is extremely cold and also dry the air at this altitude is very thin so one can feel the heat of sun intensely as the area experiences freezing chillness and hot sunlight if one sit under sun with their feet in shade he may suffer from both sunstroke and frostbite at the same time sunstroke is a most serious form of heat injury it is a condition caused by body overheating whereas frostbite is an injury to body tissues due to exposure to extreme cold the day temperature during summer is just above 0 degree celsius and during night they go below minus 30 degree celsius during winter it will be freezing cold and at most times the temperature lie below minus 40 degree celsius The Ladakh region is situated in rain shadow zone of Himalayas. There is a little rainfall. It is low as 10 cm each year. As the area is dry, the vegetation is sparse. Groves of willow and poplar trees are seen in the valley. From a willow tree, finest cricket bats are made. During summer, fruits like apple, walnut and apricot bloom. Many species of birds like robin, redstart, Tibetan snowcock, raven and hoopy are sighted in Ladakh and some of them are migratory birds. Also animals like wild goat, wild sheep and special kind of dogs are seen in Ladakh. They are raised to provide milk, meat and hides. Milk from yak is used to make cheese and butter and the hair from sheep and goat is used to make woolens. An endangered species, Tibetan antelope, also said as chiru, is found in Ladakh. It is in the risk of extinction and it is hunted for its wool called shatush. It is light in weight and extremely warm. There is a resemblance between Ladakh people and inhabitants from Tibetan Central Asia. 
People here are either Muslims and Buddhist. Several Buddhist monasteries dot the Ladakhi landscape with its traditional gompas. Gompa is said as a temple or a monastery. There are many monasteries like Hemis, Tikse, She and Lamairu in Ladakh. During summer, people are very busy in cultivating crops like barley, potato, peas, beans and turnip. And during winter, the climate is very harsh here. So people occupy themselves with festivals and ceremonies. Women in Ladakh are very hard working. They not, they not only work in house and fields, they also run small business and shops. We can even call them entrepreneurs. Leh is the capital of Ladakh. It is well connected by both road and airways. National Highway 1A connects Leh to Kashmir Valley via Zoji La Pass. There are many more passes in Himalaya like Manali Leh Highway. It crosses four passes. They are Rotangla, Baralachala, Langalachala and Thanglangla. This highway is open between July and September when snow gets cleared from the road. Tourism is a major activity in Ladakh. Many tourists visit the desert from India and abroad. They visit Gompas. They do trekking to see glaciers and meadows. They witness their ceremonies and festivals. Over centuries, people of Ladakh learned to live in balance with nature. Due to scarcity of resources like water and fuel, they use everything with reverence and care. They do not waste or discard anything. So that's all. We have come to an end. Hope the lesson is useful and I will see you on our next good video.